Hello, YouTubers, friends, and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 29th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here looking at our sun for the past 48 hours, imagery brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed here with Daily Events Worldwide. No major solar flares, still only observing that minor M-class long-duration solar flare from yesterday. Did create a CME, but not in an Earth-directing fashion. Having a look at the last 48 hours, cresting into view, incoming. We do have seven sunspot regions right now that are Earth-facing. Images on the out outgoing disk. Big sunspot region on the left-hand side. Getting ready to go fire off on the back side of the sun for a while. Having a look at multi-spectrum, pointing out the last 48 hours of events. Seeing some plasma filaments lifting and as well minor C-class solar flares. Showing here the coronal holes which are turning away and as well a few that are building getting ready for, th for some Earth-facing action. 193 angstoms here. Just an another amazing way to see our sun and all of its energies. As we have seven sunspot regions on the sun right now, one is very large, turning away, and the others are pretty complex, all lining up laterally here on the Earth-facing few days that we have here. Thank you all for tuning in tonight and thank you for all the likes and the comments and all of the support to this channel. Could not do it without you guys. Much love to you all. Current space weather conditions, there are none to report. Solar winds are coming in at 398 kilometers per second, still slightly above average. Solar x-ray flux showing a minor C-class activity today. Solar proton flux is low and geomagnetic activity is low as well. Our next space weather event is expected here. You can see on the Space Weather Prediction Center showing the most recent CME taking off from our planet and as well the cosmic energies heading our way. We may get a glancing blow second into the third. Geomagnetic instability could be on its way. And then the ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, which is the most recent here, showing an outgoing CME most likely from that large sunspot region that is turning away. Now let's have a look at Alaska 2 and 3. This is the last two days of images. 27 to leap day here. As you can see in the bottom there, that is Saturn. Mercury is visible on the Alaska 3. Not visible here with this shorter spectrum. But you can see Saturn cruising by there. And on the last go three, you see Mercury and Saturn heading towards each other as they transition and align on the other side of the sun. So a little Mercury retrograde for Saturn has just occurred. This shows all of the coronal mass ejections that have left the sun in the past two days. Most recent, they're outgoing. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we're sitting at about 250 earthquakes in a 24-hour period. Notable activity here at the Juan de Fuca Plate. 4.9 earthquake, Crescent City, California. Off the coast here, Pistol River, Oregon as well. 4.3, 4.1. Juan de Fuca Plate. This is something I had just warned a couple days ago and yesterday. Minor activity still continuing at Smith's Falls. Smith's Ferry in Idaho, and as well, notable earthquake here, Pikeville, Tennessee, reporting a 2.5. Continuing, continuing rumbles through Texas-Mexico border. 4.7 here, Wreck James Ridge. Then looking a lot around Alaska, a lot of minor activity has been increasing, and so has the larger magnitude. 5.0 reported today after the 5.5 yesterday, Dak, Alaska. And then concerning earthquakes here 
off the coast, Fukushima, 5.2 Japan, and northward up into Kuril Islands. Philippines is a rocking today as well. 5.3, ranging to 4.9. And then our deepest deepest earthquakes today, 597 kilometer depth, Lavuka, Fiji, that was just reported about an hour ago. Carrying on here, 4.9, Prince Edward Island region, south of Africa, and as well, Malegro, Zambia, Central Africa reporting a 4.8. And then we get to the North Pole. There's even a 5.1 earthquake there. Zemla reported a 5.1 magnitude earthquake. North Pole. Now let's have a look at the last seven days for shakers around the world. Notable activity across the North American plate. Moving west up the coast into the Juan de Fuca. This is something I warned literally two days ago, so heads up, my friends, I do believe there is still more to come, especially with all of the deep activity that we've seen all around the the, uh, Ring of Fire, even through South America. But a bit concerning with the increasing earthquakes through the Philippines plate and as well the notable activity to the Pacific Northwest of North America. Now let's have a look at our SO2 forecast, see how these models have changed since yesterday. And we do have some thicker particulates moving in from Alaska right now, and as well central regions of Mexico from eruptions at Kamchatka and as well through the Aleutian Islands and Mexico. Popo Paketatol putting on quite a show over the past couple weeks. And as you can see, these SO2 models, they have not changed much since then carrying on here around the rest of the world southeast asia australia and africa big plume coming out of parts of western india in the arab states and as well notable so2 here in the southern hemisphere you can actually see where this big so2 plume came from in the middle of the South Atlantic Ocean, South Sandwich Islands region, Michael Volcano releasing quite a bit of SO2 pressure th this week. As you can see here, the next few days forecasted, it's seen some activity. Michael Volcano, one out of the 44 that are active and erupting around the world. Now let's get to weather here, brought to you by windy.com. Starting in Europe, as you've got a low pressure system heading in for this weekend, widespread showers, strong winds moving in by Monday into Tuesday, parts of Spain and as well through the Mediterranean. Heavy rain system moving into parts of North Africa and Spain as well in the long range forecast. So lots of moisture for Europe. Overlooking North America, three major lows here through the North Pacific and North Atlantic. One of them is grinding up the West Coast right now. And another here developing in the long range forecast could see some pretty significant winter weather and then extreme weather here with these systems pumping out of the South. Long range forecast still showing a lot of snow falling across Canada. Having a look here, overlooking Australia, Africa, and Southeast Asia. Got a low pressure system scooting across Mongolian mountain range, the Tibetan plateau. As well, we've got a pretty strong system here affecting Madagascar. Long range forecast could see a cyclone raking down the west coast of Madagascar. As well, notable here, lots of moisture building along the equator as we get ready for monsoon seasons. Now let's have a look at our upper level winds brought to you by Null School. This depicts our polar vortex and tries to depict where our North Pole is. Showing all jet streams and trade winds. These are all upper level winds around the white area and red areas upwards of 200 kilometers per hour. 
and then versus the Southern Hemisphere, which there's been a dramatic change here in the last couple of days. We're going to have to keep you posted, and please stay tuned. Hit that notification bell and don't miss an update. Much love to you all. Stay safe and healthy. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.